what's for dinner tonight? Hi, I'm Claude Ann Jones, County Extension Agent for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. And I think I have exactly what's going to help you out at 5 o'clock, brush hour, when you're trying to get home with the kids, and that question hits you, what's for dinner? So today I'm going to be preparing a cool chicken taco. Now this is, I say cool chicken taco because this recipe is meant to use your leftover chickens, which makes this recipe even more economical. And when you see the ingredients that I have, you'll see exactly how nutritious this recipe is going to be. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to add a cup and a half of my leftover chicken into my mixture or into my mixing bowl. Next, I'm going to add a whole ripened avocado. And avocados give you your good fats that you need. Now, and, and there again, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. So you wouldn't want to eat an avocado every day of your life. But for this recipe, eat up. It'll be okay. Next, we're going to add a little bit of salt to taste. Now, if you are on a salt-free diet, you don't have to add salt. It's one of those things that are optional. Okay, So we're just going to add maybe a, a, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, not a lot. We're going to add about two tablespoons of lime juice to this. And we're going to add a really good ingredient that I love to cook with. It's mango. And we're going to add a whole cup of mango to this. This is going to be such a good, cool, vibrant uh, recipe. You'll really enjoy it, I promise you. Then we're going to add cilantro. Now cilantro is one of those uh, herbs that I really enjoy cooking with because it gives you such a zesty, vibrant flavor to whatever it is that you're cooking. So. I'm going to add my cilantro. And then last, I'm going to add a vegetable. It's called jicama. Now, in the grocery store, you may uh, pass it up because you, you, you don't understand that it's spelled J-I-C-A-M-A. That's jicama. Jicama is a wonderful fruit, and it looks like this. It's just a root vegetable. And what you would do with jicama is you would take it and cut it in half because it's real hard like a potato. So cut the top and the bottom off to where you've got some stability when you're cutting it. And as you can see here, what I've chosen to do with this recipe, I've just sliced it in a julienne style to add to my recipe. It's very good and it's very flavorful. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now what I'm going to do is give all of this a really good toss to where my lime juice and my jicama and my cilantro can get all in there. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and fill my taco, but when you're at home, what you need to do with this recipe is let it sit in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes to really let that cilantro go to work, infusing all of that uh, wonderful, fresh, zesty uh, flavor that comes with the cilantro and the jicama and the mango. Now we're going to fill this up about fourth of a cup. Depends on how much you like. That's about what I like. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put it on my plate that I have paired with some seasonal fruit and a nice cold quinoa salad. So, the next time you have that dilemma of what's for dinner tonight, I hope you look us up at Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. Thank you.